Jeff Hem here with you along with Oakland A's general manager David Forrest. And David, interesting time in the spring here. A little bit more than a week is left. Things seem to be sort of settling into place other than maybe a couple of decisions for the A's that then could trickle down to affecting the Nashville roster. Yeah, I mean, certainly anything we decide is going to affect uh, what happens in Nashville. But like you said, we got a couple starting pitching spots to figure out, uh, maybe the you know, 12th or 13th guy on the bench and a bullpen spot. But uh, it's been a good camp so far. Describe how you try to figure out when to option some guys over to minor league camp who you want to get some big league spring training experience for, but ultimately you know if they're probably not going to make the roster, they'll play more on the minor league side. The timing, I would think, has to work out in, in a lot of different ways. Yeah, I mean, certainly it depends on whether you're on the 40-man roster or not, because um, that changes some of the dates when guys have to be sent down. But as you said, it's great for guys to get experience here. I mean, you want you know the Franklin Barretos and the Matt Chapmans and the Jacob Brugmans of the world all getting as much exposure to major league camp as you can uh, but at some point you realize the at bats up here run out as we get closer to April and those guys need to go play every day. Last season was such a fun one in Nashville a great team a good group of guys so many prospects and it seems like at least at the beginning a lot of those guys are going to find their way back to Nashville. Yeah I mean the three guys I just mentioned probably end up there to start the year um, but it should be a great roster you know it was a, a really fun run at the end of the year last year with guys who had you know come up from Midland you got a little taste of some of that Daniel Gossett made a couple starts toward the end of the year and he looks to be a, a you know an anchor for that rotation to start the season so uh, it, it's going to be a really good roster. And it's now still a young group. It's still a group of prospects, but now many of them have gotten at least a little bit of big league time, which helps their development, obviously, in, in addition to their efforts to try to get back to Oakland. Yeah, and, and the guys who come to mind, Chad Pinder, Matt Olson, Joey Wendell, uh, who you know all at this point look to be headed back there at least to start the year. But you, know, you get 30 or so days of big league time under your belt. You sort of learn what it takes, and uh, they should all be better for it. Looking at the pitching staff, is it fair to say at least as of today, um, Paul Blackburn and Daniel Gossett would seem to lead the Nashville rotation? Yeah, I think it's fair to say those guys are in it. Again, you know, we have, what, 10 days or so till opening day. A lot of things can happen, but um, but Gossett and Blackburn should be there. Um, you know, you've got some guys returning like Tucker Healy and Chris Smith and the bullpen, Zach Neal, probably ends up back there. So there's a good foundation there for uh, both on the starting and relieving side. And Bobby Wall made some great first impressions at the AAA level when he came to Nashville last year, and I would think he's looking to be a, a closer type at Nashville. Yeah, we talked about Bobby in our meeting the other day as probably the guy who ends up doing a lot of the closing in Nashville and like you said those guys who came up from Midland last year and got got their feet wet in AAA it's it's a similar experience from AAA to the big leagues you got to get your feet set at a level before you can really excel. As Sounds fans learned last year as you guys would take people from Nashville there was still more talent and more prospects coming up from AA. Is the Midland roster looking to be fairly loaded just because a lot of those guys can't get to Nashville right now? Well, it sounds like the Midland owner asked you to ask me that question <laughs> just to make sure. Uh, no, hopefully there's still a, a, you know, a good pipeline. I look at Midland's position players and Max Schrock and Richie Martin, Yaira Munez probably back there. So, you know, if there is a chance to win a fourth ring in a row in Midland, I think they'll be okay. We understand this is all written in pencil as of today, but thanks for the time, David. Always great to see you. Jeff, nice to see you, and uh, can't wait to get to Nashville. A's general manager, David Forst.